Okay, today we are going to demonstrate how to trim dog nails. We have Jeff Rowe here, and we have one of our veterinary nurses, Sherry, and we're going to show you how to properly trim nails. So the first thing we're going to do is go through some of the equipment. Um, nail trimmers, these are a couple different types of nail trimmers. They're all kind of scissor-like. Um, we prefer using these over the guillotine type trimmers. They trim a little bit uh, neater and are less painful for them. Um, and uh, the other thing you'll need is some quick stop powder, just in case you cut one too short. If you don't have this powder, um, cornstarch works just as well. So we'll go ahead and get started with the nail trim. So the nails are made up of uh, the nail and then the quick that's underneath. The quick is the part that is pink and is sensitive and will bleed if you cut it too short to the quick. Um, if you look at how Sherry's doing that, she's trimming off just a tiny bit at a time until we get close enough to the quick, but not right to it. <clears throat> Good boy, Jethro. So just trimming little bits of the time off the ends, right to that pink spot, but not up to the pink. We can also do a demonstration on it for a nail trim in, at an appointment. Um, if you're still uncomfortable with doing the nails, you can always do that during a regular appointment to show you how to trim your own dog's nails. Darker nails sometimes are a little tougher because you can't see the quick as easily. Um, but if you kind of go with the same length as the lighter nails, you'll usually stay away from that quick. Now none of them are short, but if we did get one too short, the idea is just to take some quick stop powder or cornstarch and just pack it on the end. We're going to demonstrate just in case. Just like that, hold a little pressure and that will stop the bleeding. Back nails are the same as the front and uh, that's about it. He did great.